Mr. J. Barney says, me and my ex broke up around three months ago and it was so sudden. The day we broke up, she took me to see her dad's grave, which was obviously a personal thing. We were friends for 10 prior year, 10 years prior. Then we got back to her house and she told me she wanted to be alone and isn't happy anymore. And then we, if they, uh, as soon as we broke up, she turned so cold and blocked me when I did nothing wrong to make her hate me. The thought of her with another guy is always on my mind and can't stop. Even when it comes to education, I see her every, I see her every as we study, or every day probably. I see her every day as we study the same thing and I find it very hard to focus without my heart racing when I see her. Yeah, of course, because you're a man and this was your girlfriend and you know her so well and you've created this order with her you're very familiar with her and you consider her as part of you an extension of you and if she's gonna go have a relationship with another man you feel it's a violation of the kind of image you have of you two and that is going to affect you, of course. And, I, and also, how do I get past the point of not letting them bother you when you see them in person? Oh, what happened? Did I jump a question? Oh, I see. Even when it comes to education, I see her every day as we study the same thing. I find it very hard to focus without my heart racing when I see her. Just couldn't believe it when she told me she wanted to be alone, but says I was the most perfect guy for her. Recently, she has constantly tried to start conversation over text about her work life and occurs every day leaving me mind fucked as to what to think mm -hmm. and also how do i how do you get past the point of not letting them bother you when you see them in person it will always bother you when you see her in person. And it will bother you more when she finds another guy that you know and she knows that probably is not as good as you and doesn't have the history that you two had. And that's going to mess with your mind more. So just take it day by day. Don't worry about what it will be. Your problem right now is that you're either in the past, in your memory, when you see her, you see her, how things were with you guys, and you travel into your memory, so you miss the fact of what really is it that you're conversing or interacting with at that moment. You're constantly in your past, and you're trying to secure that past again by trying to get some kind of an agreement that we can be together again whenever you guys interact and that interferes with the quality of your interaction at that moment for whatever that topic may be so you're never really in interaction if there is any way for you guys to reconnect that doesn't happen 
because you're not yourself and you're not dealing with that um, subject and topic of interaction at the moment because when you're trying to approach it and deal with it whatever it is that she's asking you or talking to you about you're still in your past and bringing those memories and you're a little bit all overly emotional and your heart races and all that shit that you say instead of seeing her as some woman some girl who's asking you this and you really don't really care that much because she's fucked up and she has switched turn that means she's not balanced so deal with her like a crazy person Deal with her like a sick person. Deal with her like a friend who is a little bit imbalanced. And just be kind to her and attend to what she needs and then move on. Don't bring the memories into your mind while you're dealing with her at the task at hand. And or you're thinking about what it will be when you're talking to her. If she meets somebody else, how can I get it get back to her? I will. So you're neither you're either in the past or in the future. You're never really expressing yourself or dealing with her as you guys should to create a new experiences maybe that could be you know eventually something new so deal with it as something new and let's see where does it develop to if it did go somewhere good you'll act on it if it didn't and she start you know after her needs are over you know you see she's hanging around with other guys or she tells you she met this guy or that guy then you say okay fuck it move on i don't care if it was 10 years or 20 years doesn't matter people change you shouldn't try to make this life a constant because it never is a constant it's not an absolute universe it's a relative world things change in it it's dynamic everything changes you try to hold on to it and turn a temporary which everything is temporary especially everything physical if you want to turn a temporary to permanent that's when the suffering starts that's the definition of suffering when you try to turn a temporary to permanent that's when the suffering starts so this whatever it was it was let it go and whatever it is it is interact with it and whatever it will be will be you will decide then when the will be becomes it is when the future becomes now, because there is no future waiting for you. There's no tomorrow waiting for you until it's tomorrow. When it's tomorrow, it's today. It's now. So there's only now. There's no other time. There's no past. There's no future. There's only now. Everything is happening in the now. Your future is based on what you do now. So don't fuck up now. Be with the now. See, uh, interact with this crazy person who's changed. <laughs> and the past is uh, the foundation of the now but it doesn't exist now it's dead the only thing that exists is now so deal with it now and then when the now is over you go to the next now whatever it is that you're doing don't bring these with you and keep getting yourself involved in analyzing it just enjoy the moment of it and let it be and you will see if it develops in something or not then you're free and don't try to keep the past, bring it, resurrect it. And that gives you a pain. And free yourself. Maybe you meet another girl. Much better. Because after all, you want, you want uh, psychological security. Through certainty, at least, is part of uh, what brings psychological security. The elusive psychological security. So you may meet somebody else who's going to be committed to a relationship. Not someone that after 10 years says, okay, bye-bye. That should be your clue. That, mm, okay, move on. I don't want you to be too bogged down. This. Deal with it day by day. Just be yourself. Don't see her with the eye of the past. See her as she is now, and she is deserving only the attention that you can give it to her as she is now. Not that when you see her, you find her deserving to give all the attention that you used to give her because she used to be in such a way. She is not how she used to be. Therefore, she doesn't deserve how you used to be with her version in the past and be uh, uh, you know who you are and what she deserves as who she is now today all right let's move on to 